Okay, <clears throat> I made some changes to the design. Mostly the microwave over the stove. And this area here, which I'm going to go through. Starting at the refrigerator again. We've got a refrigerator wall cabinet above the refrigerator. It's going to end up being a very small filler over here. The uh, There's a refrigerator panel to the right of the refrigerator. We have a tray base cabinet here. A wall cabinet with adjustable shelves. Another diagonal wall cabinet with adjustable shelves. Now you suggested that you might want a Lazy Susan in here. And Starmark does have that option. Uh, the Lazy Susan would be round. And you would lose a little storage space because they can't obviously make it make it uh, more square. They have to make it round in order for it to fit in that cabinet. Now this cabinet is a, a Super Susan. It has a tray that spins independently, two of them, and the tray looks like a Pac-Man. This base cabinet has a drawer and two doors, and inside it is a half-depth half shelf. This is a sink base cabinet, 36 wide, very common. Dishwasher. It's going to be a three-quarter inch panel between the dishwasher and the stove to hold up the countertop. This is another wall cabinet with adjustable shelves. It's a wall cabinet with adjustable shelves. Now this is this wall cabinet is 21 wide. Made it 21 wide to accommodate your existing spice pull-out storage. And over here is another cabinet. Probably not your favorite cabinet over here because the countertop kind of gets in the way, but you'll probably be able to reach it. Um, Particularly, the, the, the hard part of this cabinet will be getting up to the top shelf. Um, then we have a Super Susan again, just like this cabinet over here. Then I have a second tray base. Now, if you don't think you need two tray bases, I could make uh, either this cabinet or this cabinet, probably this one here, a pullout. And I'd probably move this cabinet over to here, just so there's more room for the pullouts. You can get it on either side, and that pullout could have uh, adjustable shelves in it. But right now, it um, is just meant to store cookie sheets on a vertical. If you wanted a pullout then it would probably add another two or three, 200 to 250 dollars I'm gonna guess for a decent one. Then I have a bank of three drawers. This is a good sized cabinet, 33 wide. Then this is where your trash is with a working drawer on top. Then on the, it's kinda of hard to see but because the chairs are in the way, but we have storage where the seating is and this again is going to be seasonal storage, not something you would get into on a daily basis. I'm just going to show flush tow kicks. You can see the flush tow. This is a standard tow kick. Excuse me. This is a standard tow kick where you can see the notch. When I say flush tow kick, the notch is gone. But this looks like uh, looks better on the non-working side of the kitchen if we did a flush tow kick. So that is the general idea of the design. And then I have an estimate attached to this design that I will include as an attachment on an email. Let me know if I can answer any questions or clarify anything.